Well, thanks a lot. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thanks for taking uh, the time to pleasure. talk to me. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. So first of all, I just wanted to ask, how has being a part of this huge cultural phenomenon been for you, the Twilight Saga? It's been amazing. I mean, um, I, I, I did like a couple of days on the film, like three days. Um, I did a cameo for the director. Um, kind of, I actually went in for another part, which I was completely wrong for. But um, we got on so well that they caught up and offered me this part. Um, because they wanted me in the movie, and um, yeah, it, it, it's amazing. You just see what a machine it is. It's um, it sort of sort of propels you, sort of like elevates you into a sort of a completely different level in people's eyes and sort of around Hollywood. It's been very, very fortunate to be a part of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I was going to ask you how you got the part. So, what did you originally go in to try to? Um, I played. Went in for another part, but I went in and did something quite risky, where I was sort of a newborn vampire, mm -hmm. um, and I sort of played it. Uh, quite out there, a bit like a junkie coming off dope <laughs> or something. And they were like, well, that's a little out there for Twilight, um, but we've got another part where you play uh, another risky sort of part, which I was saying, which is probably uh, the most risky that's been in Twilight, my part, um, even though it's small. But um, yeah, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. My God, I'll do anything. It's David Slade who did uh, 30 Days of Night and he did Hard Candy. and. You know the movies are great, so um, it was um, it was an honor to be asked to do anything in it. Yeah, that's great. Um, so, have you ever read any of the books, or were you a fan of the series before being cast in this? Movie? Um, to be honest, I hadn't, but I did read them once um, I got cast, and they're great. I mean, God, they hold your attention. They, they're, you know, they're really well written. I think you get wrapped up in them, and uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I think uh, the movies do it just. I think this one is is the. I mean. I'm, without taking anything from the other movies, but this one really is the best. It's really, really, really good. Yeah, that's what I've heard. It's I just mean, filled with action. Yeah. It's got a great love story to it. Um, you know, I just, I think, um, I think the fans are really gonna like this one. Yeah, I mean, uh, the first one, you know, I mean, I actually, you know, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun and, you know, I had a pretty small budget. Yeah. And then the next one really stepped it up a notch. Yeah. And then, you know, just like, you know, the bigger they get, you know, the more they can do. Exactly. So. They give them a little more money each yeah. time, a little more time, <laughs> you yeah, know. So, exactly. yeah, and, and this one, I think they really, they outdid themselves. They, you know, David did such a great job and um, some are so behind it. So, yeah, it's, yeah. Um, it was, uh, it's, I think everyone who's going to watch it is really going to enjoy this one. Yeah, you're yeah. doing great directors. I mean, yeah, it must great be. great directors, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I've, I've read in the books that Royce wasn't such a great guy. Yeah. How close is the character t in the film as it is to the book? Do they keep the storyline pretty the same? I mean, it's, it's, it's basically spot on. Mm. We've, we've, we've basically kept it spot on. I think maybe my look is a little different because they described him a bit different. But, um, like blonde hair? I heard yeah, that, they did so. that. But, but, I, but, you know, like I said, I think hair doesn't really matter. Like, sure. we tried to convey exactly what the book mm. had written. You know, we just basically, I think they took that and just placed it. Awesome. onto the script and uh, yeah we I mean I think that's the thing you've got to sort of do justice to w the written word um, and I think they did hold very true to it so that's good yeah, that's what I was gonna say fans will get upset if you twist it to try to make it more commercial or you know exactly. lighten it up exactly. a little bit so Which I, understand keep it true. I understand that it's mm -hmm. true you know because I think initially the first thing that's where they fell in love with the books first so the movies are an extension of the book so you have to you can't go off and make your own movie because um, yeah, you got to stay true. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, what was your favorite part of working on the film? Um, well, I mean, working with David Slade that was awesome, and uh, Nikki Reed, who I play opposite, it's uh, Rosalie's backstory, and she's just fantastic. She's just a hell of an actress and um, really welcoming. And um, as soon as I came in, uh, we became friends really quickly, and um, she was just great to work with. So, um, I think you know the set all together, and then also just. I think knowing you're doing a part in Twilight is pretty big, so <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, I mean, this has got to be one of the biggest things going on right now. I, I mean, mean it's I, I, I was said the premiere was like going to a Michael Jackson concert back in the day. It's like people are going nuts. I've never seen anything like it. Like yeah. you know, but it's sweet. I, I think it's I, I think it's really nice. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. So I'll, I just wanted to ask about uh, some other projects. Wild uh, Salome is it? Wild Salome. 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 Okay, so directed by Al Pacino. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And starring Al Pacino. Yeah. What, what yeah. What was that like to work on? It was great. It was um, he, he did a film called Looking for Richard um, a while back, which is um, basically Richard the Third Shakespeare, and this is Salome, Oscar Wilde. So that's why they say Wilde mm -hmm. Salome. It's about Oscar Wilde and Salome, and it's you know he directed it, but it's it's sort of documentary stroke film stroke theatre, but film like it's it's amazing sort of walk. I play Bozy, who was Oscar Wilde's lover, and Al plays Oscar Wilde in a, a segment of the film, because there's so many different segments, it goes all over the place. Um, 
And that was amazing. That was amazing. Well, it, it was great. I just got a rehearse of Alf like two weeks at his house, and then we just went and shot these twenty-minute takes and just did it and improvised. And yeah, it was it was great. I mean, I don't know. He's got like I, I heard he's got like I've seen the film like six times, and every time the, I've seen the movie, it's a different film. Like right, I've yeah. seen six different films, and he's got like one hundred and twenty hours of film that he's putting together. But I think it'll be a great DVD because you'll be able to access all different parts of the movie and actually be able to see them in their entirety. So. Great. Well, that's excellent. Uh, and then The Hot Potato, you're going to film that later this year? Yeah, that's something which um, we've been talking about. I mean, I, if it, I, I think so. Yeah, I think I will. I mean, it'll be fun. Me and Ray Winston fun. get to have a bit of fun together. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly. all based on a sort of true story, but like all the names have changed, but it's actually something that did happen. Really? Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. It, yeah. sounded, it sounded pretty fun. It is. I think it's a bit, it's going to be taking it back to sort of like the old Ealing Studios caper movies, mm -hmm. you know, like back in like when Michael Caine or Alec Guinness and, you know, all those mm -hmm. things. Like the Lavender Hill Mob, or like you know the lady. Is, it's like it's a fun sort of film like that. So hopefully, if it if it does go ahead, then um, yeah, that, then yeah, we'll be doing that. I've got hopefully a couple of more films I'm doing before it, but um, yeah. yeah, that would be fun. Ray yeah. Winstone's perfect for that role, as yeah. we've seen many times. And yeah. uh, last question, uh, you know, you obviously come from a family of a lot of great actors, award-winning directors. Yeah. Uh, do you ever think of uh, directing a movie someday? Go oh yeah, no, absolutely. I'm, I'm dying to, I, I mean, I'm meant to be doing a short film soon, um, part of a series of shorts, uh, which in the sort of vein of like New York, I Love You, where they put mm -hmm. lots of shorts together, but it makes a whole movie. Um, but I've got a couple of scripts uh, that um, we're working on, and um, one of them I definitely want to be directing. So. Um, I kind of want to give it like a year or two. I, you know, I'm 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 not as arrogant to think that I can just go out there and direct a movie. I like, I'd like to spend a little more time on set and watch and sort of learn. Um, and there's so many great people out there to learn from. But um, eventually, I really enjoy directing. Yeah. Great. Well, it looks like you're doing great with all the movies. I mean, you've had some neat roles and yeah. with Kevin Spacey and yeah, yeah. Ron Williams and uh, Shrink. That yeah, was a yeah. neat movie. No, they, so. I've had. To, you know what? They've I've, they've been fun. I've I've done sort of a good bunch of diverse roles. Um, and um, I've got Ball Walk Empire coming up, which is um, Scorsese. Yeah, Scorsese. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which is cool. So that'll be fun. That that comes out in September. Great. Which well, will thanks. be a good one to watch. <laughs> well, best of luck and best of luck with Twilight and everything. Have a lot of fun and appreciate talking awesome. to you. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks Brilliant. a lot. All right, mate. Brilliant. Good.